the Jane Yellow Rock series, I have to deal with them in different ways. In Jane's case, because she has Beast living inside with her, she always has some of those characteristics. And Beast gets to make some choices. And Beast actually has the power to push down on Jane's consciousness and make some choices even when she's in human form. So this is a partnership that is developing and is um, distinctly uncomfortable to Jane in a lot of situations. In the case of the wares, they do keep a great deal of their animal, um, of their beasts alert with them because they are many generations long and sometimes their offspring are born as human and then can shift into their beast. And in that case, it's singular. And other times, they are born as where black panthers and can maybe shift into a human when they are weak. So it depends on, on the species, uh, how much of their animal self they keep close. I introduced a character named Paka, who is black wear panther in I think the last next to the last book. And Paka was born black wear panther and shifted into human. So she is very different among her littermates. She thinks like a cat. She thinks she acts like a cat. She um, is mechanical like a cat, and she is very vicious like a cat. And when she chooses something, it is hers, and she does not share. Hmm. The other black panthers, uh, where black panthers are not so, they tend to be more human and less cat. But they bring Pat, they bring Paka to America, and they give her to Rick, who is stricken with the the wear taint of their species. But his tattoos don't let him change. It's odd that you did the tattoo thing. Um, his tattoos don't let him shift. So three days of the full moon, he's insane with pain. And they bring Paka to him, thinking that her magic, which is so different from theirs, may help him shift. And instead, it has unintended consequences. 